Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Eltharion going up against Marathi. Now we've got a mixed mi uh, Mistwalker army here. We've got at least one of each type of Mistwalker, plus a, uh, a Regiment of Roundtown of Torquilator. This is a good army, but the problem here is that Marathi's army and her reinforcements are simply stronger than us. Now this guy here fought the battle about eight times, as we said in the email. He tried corner camping, he said the terrain's not very good, he tried a whole bunch of different things and just nothing worked. And that what ends up happening is that all their fast units just charge into melee. He beats them, but the problem is that they cast all their Black Ark abilities and the bloody Doom Bolts. They've got four bloody Doomfire Warlocks, and it just thins them out like crazy. And then he doesn't have enough firepower then to finish off all of these guys here, because you've got to kill them to the last man in order to, to get them to go away, and just couldn't inflict the army losses. So, I'm going to try something different, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Because obviously, if I just do the same thing he does, well, I'm just going to get the same result. It's not like, oh, I'm Legend of Total War, I get plus 5% chance of victory. That's just not how it works, <laughs> you know? I hope nobody thinks that, because that'd be stupid. But yeah, we want to make use of the full, true power of the Mistwalkers, especially with Eltharion, because he boosts them more than anybody else. Now, one of the big bonuses that the Mistwalkers get, especially with Eltharion, is that they all have Stalk, which means I can hide them anywhere. Now, the Mistwalkers are not faster than most Dark Elf units. It's one of the big advantages Dark Elves have over um, High Elves. Like, they just got really fast units. So, we got to be careful not to just be immediately detected. So, this one here... Well, it does have a decent amount of firepower. I just want to keep it out of the time being. I just don't have much use for it at the moment. Uh, I could probably put it back here. Actually, I might do that. It'll be discovered at the start, but that's okay. Uh, same thing with both of these. Uh, no, just leave them where they are. So what I want to do is have these two at the start take out Marathi. Because she'll be an absolute pain. She's an anti-infantry machine. She got Doombolt, um, Soul Stealer. I don't know if this one here is Pit of Shades, but she got uh, Melkoth, Mystifying Miasma, which she loves to overcast. She just does a ton of damage. If we could take her out basically for free, that'd be really good. Alright, so what we want to do here, make sure everyone's not firing at will. Okay, just move these three back over here, the little ones that don't stalk. And we want to move around this side of the army to get their attention away from our main forces. Good, they're all hidden. I actually have this one here facing the other way. Okay, getting shot by artillery a little bit. That's okay. Can heal. We definitely want to take out the artillery, but it's not essential. The main thing here is to take out Marathi. So we just get their attention, get fairly close to them, and then lure Marathi into a secret hidey spot that I'm aware of that is really good for fighting for us if we're flying. But very bad for her because she won't have any backup. Because we can beat her in melee, but not while we're getting shot by their dark shards. So, we've definitely got our attention. Cool. You might be wondering where I'm going. I'm going up here. There are some maps in this game that have these really high up mountainous areas where you can actually go and put your flying units. And um, archer units, even if they're standing here, they just can't shoot up that high. Now, the problem is we'll take a little bit of damage climbing up there. But that's okay. Once we're up there, we'll be able to capture it. Come on, come on keep going. That's alright, little birdie. You'll be fine. And then we can just use Apotheosis to heal afterwards. That's it. Bring her up. That's it. She's climbing up. She's not so good at climbing up. She's way better at going down, if you know what I mean. Oh my god, so many innuendos with Marathi. It just never ends. Okay. Uh, she's kind of backing off, but we might be able to get her attention again. She didn't take the bait. I needed her to take the bait. She didn't take the bait. Oh, she's coming back. She's coming back. Just be patient. They'll come. But yeah, we, we, the last thing we need is for her to be uh, fighting and getting all these support units here helping her. Alright, I think she's taking the bait this time. No, she's going back down. Come on, Marathi, you can do it. You can do it. I know that she can't take the bait. We just got to get her up there. All right, here she comes again. 
Okay, here she comes. Alright, I think we got her this time. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! What's a guy gonna do? She takes one look and she's like, nah, this looks like shit. We gotta be fighting up here. We don't want to be fighting on, on like, the, the edge here. It's not a good spot for us. Alright, I think she's taking the bait this time. Don't move. Don't move. What's she doing? Yep, she's taking the bait. She got sick of it. Cool, we just had to outweigh her. Alright, now we got her ass. Okay, get ready to pop down this. And we'll capture her ass. Good, without any missile. Oh, shit. Can't see. Okay, that reduces our melee defense and armor. Come on. You got 19 seconds. Take her out. Good. That's a big win for us. That's a really big win. Okay. I'm not going to worry too much about healing the Knights of Torquaval because they. Um, they'll recover to full. Alright, now for stage two. Now. We want to use the Mistwalkers here to pick off their units a little bit at a time. Because we've got essentially unlimited ammunition, we want to have... Let me just stand back over here. Have like one unit chase after Cavill over here. Leave him out in the open. Because they'll prioritize taking out Altharian because Altharian can't hide. They'll just send like one unit to... Hang on, we got incoming here. What are these? Doomfire Warlocks? Okay, cool. This is this is a really important unit to take out. Take it. Start shooting it now. Part of the problem with these Mistwalkers here is their kind of low firing rate. But yes, there are... Um, this one here was going after Cavill. Come on, you gotta break it. Uh, or, or if they back off, that's fine as well, but I'd much prefer to wipe them out. We've got another one coming in. That's fine. We can take it out. And no Doom Bolt for that. Okay, take out the next one. Good, shattered it. Nice. Come on, hurry up. You gotta shoot it now. See, one of the problems with the Doomfire Warlocks is they got 40% physical resistance and we do physical damage. Come on, shoot it now. Don't let it touch us. It's a game of tech. Come on, break, 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 break. Oh, thank God. Because if they uh, touch us... Oh, good, we wiped it out. Okay, if they touch us... Um, not only do they cast Doom Bolt, which we basically can't dodge, but they also use the Black Arc abilities as well on top of that, which again, difficult to dodge. Alright, just back off a little bit. Alright, have, um, have Eltharian come down. And all of their units, there we go, they're all coming after Eltharian. And just bring like a couple of units over here at a time. Good, this is what we want to see. That was really good that we took out two units of the Doomfire Warlocks, essentially for free. But they got really close. Imagine if that was going on. Like, we had set up a corner camp or whatever. And their entire army was coming at us. What a disaster that would have been. There was no way you could handle that. Alright, yeah. Just don't fire at will. And just wait for them. Put them on guard mode. Actually, you know what? Don't put them on guard mode. We don't need that here. I somewhat wonder if um, guard mode actually lowers their uh, response time a little bit. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Because we don't have to worry too much about them touching us. Like, the Black Arc Corsairs are faster than us, but we'll easily kill them in time. See, what they're doing is they're just sending enough force for them to guarantee a win against Cavill. But they don't take this into consideration because they can't see it. They've got, they got no memory of it. Oh god, why would it take them so long to reload? Wipe them out so we don't have to deal with them again. So I think there's like 46 units that we have to deal with. So by my count, we've dealt with five. All right, we've also got this one coming in over here, which is fine. Good to deal with them. Get rid of all their fast units first is really good. Because if they've only got infantry left, then that'll make things really easy for us. All right, Cold One Chariots aren't as big of a threat as the... Um, Doomfire Warlocks. Yeah, the terrain is really shit here. But they're all gone. Good. They did get shot off on us. Alright, back off a little bit. 
back off a little bit. I'm not using the Skyhorse because they don't have as much range. All right, get Eltharion into. Okay, yeah, just get their attention. If we just move him around a little bit, they they get all horny for him and go after him. And then, yep, Cavill's still here, so we just need to wait for it. They do have a shade unit, so eventually that shade will pop up. So we need to be aware of that. But if there's something else coming at us, then we can pretty much guarantee, guarantee that the shade isn't coming at us right now, because they'll only send. Um, the shade by itself, because uh, he's at full strength. They'll consider that about an even trade. And it's just a matter of patience here. Yeah, just wait for that to get fairly close. That way we can wipe it out without these guys here having any chance of being able to support it. Because we don't just want to win the battle, we want to obliterate them. And this one here is not part of the Force March army, so we want it to die completely. but they have no chance of getting to us. And since we have unlimited ammo, even if they're shattered, we can finish killing them. Because we'll just get the ammo back really quickly. Alright, now we just gotta wait for another one to come over here, which will be a bit of a wait. So by my count, their fast units that are remaining are two Doomfire Warlocks, one Cold One Knight, and one Reaper... Uh, Dark, sorry, Dark Rider with Reaper, Reaper, it's good, Dark Riders with, um, crossbows. It's good that these Cold One Knights are coming, that's, that's what we want to get rid of. But they're, they're just walking towards us though. Hurry up and run, come on, hurry up. I think this one's part of the Force March armor, but we still need to get rid of it. And if we keep doing these traders, what we're doing here is we're gaining balance, sorry, we're killing off their bouncer power without losing any bouncer power for us. So it actually makes it easier to get the win. If we keep this up, we'll get a very early army losses. Like, they'll have maybe 15 units still in play, and they'll get the army losses. Still got plenty of wins. Could heal the Knights of Torgaval. I just don't need to. Let them come in a little bit closer. If they were Doomfire Warlocks, I'd shoot them at maximum range. But these ones here aren't going to get to us. They're nowhere near as fast. Take them out. Good. Wiped them out completely. Cool. Get their attention again, and just wait for the next unit to come over. Which is going to be what? Alright, looks like it's these two. Kind of indicates that there actually might be a shade unit in the middle there. So I'm going to shoot at them from long range, because I feel like there is actually a shade unit there. Because usually they just stand right next to each other. So there must be, there might be something in the middle of that. Uh, no, just, just keep it there. It's fine. Can't fire at the ground, so if it is there, then I don't know. The uh, sentinel of Astaral, despite having really uh, low um, reload time, are really good for this, just because they're super long range. Okay. So that unit there got shattered, just unit Dread Spear, it's not a big deal. Alright. Okay, now I feel like the shades are on the way, because I can't see anything coming at us. So what we want to do is send Cavill over here. Cavill will detect it, and then we can shoot at it, before it gets in range of our units here. Yeah, if we can't see anyone coming at us, it's probably a stalking unit. And I was right! Oh, they're shooting at us. Come on, hurry, fire back before we take damage. Good, nobody died. And their shade got obliterated. Very nice. So yeah, quick use of the earth blood there to stop anyone from dying. Alright, they I think they only had the one shade, so we don't need to worry about doing that again. Let's see. It's also about understanding how the AI thinks. If you understand how the AI thinks, you can completely dismantle it. It's the same thing with, really, even even a human player. If you understand what their thought processes are, you can dismantle them. Like if you know somebody's prone to raging, make them angry. If you know somebody's prone to be impatient, <laughs> give them a situation that they just can't resist. 
If you know somebody's micro is really bad, give them a really confusing situation to deal with and watch as their micro collapses. If their micro is really good, better than yours, then give them something where their micro is useless. Alright, I don't think another shade is coming here. Because I don't think I've got another one. Alright, it looks like a Doomfire Warlock's coming. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Oh, Cavill's not hidden. Uh, not, not visible. That's why nobody was coming. Durr. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. Just stay where you are. Uh, these ones here won't be able to fire at him from that range. Alright, fire at will. Oh, they're already at fire at will. Yeah. Yeah, see, Doomfire Warlocks are actually a really good AI unit because Doomfire Warlocks very rarely survive the battles because they're kind of like a suicide unit. They just charge in, they die, but they do a ton of damage with their spells. And so for the player, you shouldn't build armies around suicide units, <laughs> except for Vampire Coast. Um, but for the AI, because they can afford so many more armies than the player, they can totally afford really annoying... Uh, suicide units that they can just replace quite easily. Okay, just a unit of Black Art Corsairs. Cool, take that out easily enough. I want to get out of Pirate Will. Okay, doesn't want to deal with me. That's fine. Back off. Back off. Cavill's visible, so... Okay, these are the two that's coming at us. You can usually see which one's coming at us, because they're like... They're not moving in the same sort of pattern as the rest of the AI. See, I can see a pattern to their movement. They're trying to stay in formation, but they just don't understand that there's, like, rocks in the way. Whereas these guys here, they're just not following the same pattern. It will be done. Without fail. Good... Delete those dark shards. Missed out on the black art corsairs. I just don't want them getting too close. Yeah, that's fine. Still got dark elf music, so the bounce power must still be in their favor. Thing is, we can get the army losses even if the bounce power is in their favor, as long as we've dealt out what was it, seventy-two percent of their overall bounce of power, which I don't think we're close to that yet. As we take out more of their fast units, what we could do is bring this one over here so that there's more units to be baited over, so they send more units at us. But while there's Doomfire Warlocks on the battlefield, no. No, don't fire at will just yet. Okay. Shoot at them. We don't want them getting close because they'll fire back. And that's not allowed. That's it, if they back off, that's fine. They, they still lost badly on that engagement. Okay, then don't fire. They'll forget about us and just send one unit at us again. We've got to watch out for enemy units coming around this way. Very, very bad. Uh, back off, back off. While there's while there's um, Doomfire Warlocks over here, this is a really bad location to be shooting from. Shit. Shit, 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 that. They can't see us, but this is the unit that they're sending at us. Oh, they can see. Okay, hang on. Yeah, this is the worst place for them to be coming at us, for us. Because the terrain's really bad. It's hard to be accurate. But we should be okay, just because we got overwhelming firepower. He was definitely aiming for Cavill. Come on, get him. Get him. I want them deleted. And this is why I wasn't using the Skyhawks. Fucking finicky units. I mean, they were kind of on top of each other there a little bit. But. Anyway, that shattered. And that should get wiped out provided we win. Which is looking pretty, pretty good for that at the moment. Okay, cool. Alright, that's another unit over here. Uh, they've still got some fast units, but I think that might be all the Doomfire Warlocks, unless I'm mistaken. I know I've gotten rid of at least three, and there was four. Alright, we got another Black Guard of Nagron coming in. That's cool, that's that's the easiest one to deal with, because it's the slowest, has no shields, even though these guys here have Shield Breaker. 
and they have a high amount of like balance of power, but they're total garbage. This is why I put them at like uh, what's it called trash tier. They're absolute crap. Like if they get into melee, sure they do a lot of damage, but the thing is you can, if you're smart, prevent that from happening. And the AI is actually pretty good at preventing that from happening as well. Pretty good, not perfect at it. Just wait till they get about halfway. And they're still trying to get an Eltharian, and they are just denied. Now, we could heal the Knights of Torgaval to increase our balance of power, but the thing is, as long as we stay above, like, 75% of our balance of power, we don't need to do that. It doesn't make any difference. That's it. Delete it. We have plenty of ammo, so it's okay to waste it on the Shattered Unit. Cool. Alright. I don't think they've got any more reinforcements coming. I think I've deleted about 15 of their troops so far. I haven't really been keeping count, though. They can see Cavill, so somebody should be coming over this way. Yeah, their units just can't shoot that far. Yeah, somebody is coming. It's a bleak sword. They shouldn't just send a bleak sword. There should be somebody else coming with them. But they're moving really slow. If I move over to there, that could be a big mistake. But I'll, I'll, move, uh, I'll move them sort of halfway. Just because there's a big distance between us and their army. And they don't have that many fast units anymore. But it would be better to be patient, for sure. The more patient you are, the better. Now, if you're also thinking, This is why I put a timer on all my battles. I want you to keep in mind that if you're saying that because you, you're embarrassed by how badly we're winning so far. Keep in mind that they're the attacker here. If we had a timer for 20 minutes, we would win. We would have won by now. No, they didn't come at us. Uh, and um, one of their armies would have been completely wiped out. There's actually a really, really overpowered cheese that I don't use in this game. Where if you play like a faction that can use the Underway Stance and has Lords that can have Stalk, what you can do is... Okay, they're changing tactics a little bit now. Uh, what you can do is use the Underway Stance with just that Lord or maybe just like one unit. And... Um, just wait out the timer, because if you're intercepted in an underway, it counts as the the person who's intercepting you as the attacker. So you wait out the 20 minutes, and then you just delete their entire army. Because whoever wins in an underway interception, the other army gets wiped out. Mm, I don't like this one bit. This is this is iffy. Go back in here. Go for a reset of what they're what they're thinking. Alright, no, that's fine. That's fine. We just got one unit of uh, Blackout and Agron coming in. That's fine. Mm, not liking it. They seem to be changing tactics a little bit. Not going after Elf. Um, hang on. All their Reaper Bolt Throwers are just sitting there by themselves. Okay, back off. Back off. They're getting too close. Too many of them there. Um, well, we could beat them at this stage here. We would take a lot of damage. And I want to try to do this without taking any damage. Or any casualties, if possible. Yep, that is just easy bounce of power. Take them out. And then get back up before... Cool, cool, cool. Alright, that was that was really good. See, if they change their behavior, you change your behavior. Don't always keep doing the same thing. They left their artillery undefended, so I fucking took them. Okay. Now let's see if they'll go back to their original behavior. Alright, looks like they want to start sending lords and heroes at us, which is totally fine. We can take that out easily enough. What's the range? I think that's the Admiral, yeah. 125, yeah, we can easily outrange that. Alright, I will give the Knight of Torgopal a heal, because we've got 30 wins of magic, and things have been going really well so far. Yeah, we still got heaps of reserves. Music has changed to High Elf, so that's good. Let him get a little bit closer. Because I just don't want him backing off. Unions are revealed. Oh, it's just that one. That's fine. Alright, just wait for it. Wait until they're in range of these ones here as well. And fire at him. Because he's not in range yet. And he rushes. And he dies. 
Good. Wait for the next one to come over here. Alright, since we've got a lot of bounce, uh, a lot of um, magic, I think I might do this. Let's see if this might work. The might of Everest! Because I just wanted to save it for healing, but let's just see. I got my own Doom Bolt, bitch! Nice! That's not bad at all. Uh, too bad it costs seven wins of magic. But, you know, if they're going to be in a nice big blob like that, fuck them. Shoot them from up high like this. They can't do anything about it. Like I said, when the AI changes their behavior, you change yours to adjust. Alright, they're just sending dark shards of shields. Okay, just don't fire it. We'll wait till they get a little bit closer. Alright, they're... Oh, they're, they're, they're still going into the blob. All right. Guided by waystones. Oh yeah, here we go. Nice. That is doing a lot of damage because it also does a little bit of area of effect damage and damage over time. Okay, they can't get in from that distance. Alright, cool. Alright, let the magic regenerate a little bit. Be good if he had the, um... I always forget the name of the spell. The, uh, the, the Phoenix spell. Alright, let him get a little bit closer. And fire. Yeah, as soon as they detect us, they start running away. This is why we gotta let them come in a little bit closer. Good. Okay, got Murderous Prowess active. If that ability counts for nothing, that'll be good. Okay, I want to take out that Lord. Move in a bit closer. They'll probably use Chill Wind. Because they're, they're bound to still have plenty of winds. But it shouldn't kill anyone unless it hits this. Come on. Shoot it now. Now would be a good time. Alright, didn't kill anyone. And... Come on, come on, come on. Almost done. Okay, I think that was the last of their magic. Cool. Alright, get back. Good, that worked out well. Alright, so they can still see Cavill, so they should be sending one unit to come and look after him. Could cast another spell if I wanted to. Cool. Alright, so we've got a Black Art Corsair and a Black Art Nagaron coming at us. That's cool. We just need them to get far enough away from the rest of their troops. I think we did get rid of all of their Doomfire Warlocks. I don't see any. I know the um, Dark Rider Repeater Crossbows are still there. But it was the uh, the Doomfire Warlocks that were the biggest threat. Because 40% physical resistance, they tend to get into loose formation. And they only need one of them to touch you. And you're basically cursed at that point. Hang on, don't shoot yet. Don't shoot yet. That's too late. Just shoot him. Good. That is just free balance of power for us. So we could heal these guys here. I just don't really feel like the, the need to do it just yet. Because we don't have that much magic. It might be better to keep using these damage spells. They had another shade. I didn't know about that. I thought there was only one. Oh, we took casualties. I thought there was only one shade. My bad. We actually took casualties. Come and shoot it. Hurry up. Ugh. They snuck up on me. They still didn't trade very well. That's the only unit that they do it to me. I, I could have sworn there was only one, but I, I must have miscounted. Anyway, that's. I don't think they can do it again. And we should be able to recover our casualties after the, the battle with post-battle loot options. I didn't know they had another one. The thing is, you can't see them coming. 
That's why this is so powerful. It's also powerful when the AI does it to you, and they've done it to me a fair few times, especially with Shades. AI is quite good at doing it. But yeah, it didn't trade well for them. But yeah, that was the only engagement so far in the battle that just wasn't free. Against those shades. Good, they're shattered. Cool. Yeah, unless they get into a big cluster, it doesn't do a ton of damage. Easy to take them out. Cool. Yeah, there's loads of Blackguard and Agarond. Alright, we should be getting fairly close to the army losses now. Uh, there's probably still more than a full stack here. But yeah, as they keep sending the Blackguard and Agarond over here to die, then that's worth a ton of bounce of power. I'll move up a little bit closer. I'm fairly sure there are no more shades. Good. And just a matter of patience. Okay, so another dark shard coming in. Fairly soon, we can afford to take out, take on the rest of them, and it just be won't be a problem at all. I could keep healing them, but it's not going to affect how much our bounce of power... Uh, it will affect our bounce of power, but it just won't affect um, how many casualties we'll have at the end of it, because I can't revive them until after the battle is over. Alright, shoot them. You know, whenever you're ready. And that worked out just fine there. Good. Shattered. Good enough. Is that a... I don't know if that's on Force March. Probably isn't. But it's dead. As long as we win, it's dead. Cool. The artillery is still lingering around over here. I'm glad that they didn't send them over here, because that would have been a pain to deal with. Yeah, that's alright. You know, I've got the magic, I might as well do it. Flame, uh, what's it called? Uh, burning head would be better, but that, there's no way I can get it over there. It's on foot. Alright, they don't seem to be sending anyone. Could it be another shade? Could there actually be another shade coming? I don't think so, it just doesn't look like they've sent any. Oh, Eltharian was hidden. What the fuck? Okay, now. Yeah, there was another shade. It was just... Get him out. Up, 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 up. I don't know how Eltharion managed to hide. Alright, all good. Don't shoot yet, don't shoot yet. Ah, oh, it's too late. Oh, we're kind of... Oh, no, that's no, alright. And, um, no, it's just... Uh, we'll, we'll use the heal magic in a bit. It's just if I cast it now, we're not going to get any more recharge, right? Good. That was free. Alright, here come the Dark Rider repeating. No, they're going away. Okay, he's hidden. Shouldn't be hidden. Come back out. Alright, Eltharion needs to draw them back over here. There's too many of them coming up this way. Okay, just wait for it. And fire. Alright, that's the last of their fast units. So now, I'm going to put a second unit up here to lure more troops over here at a time. Because I'm less concerned about it now. Because if they've only got infantry, it's just far less of a threat. You get more time to shoot them before they get away. Or get to you. Alright. The biggest concerns now are the Black Art Corsairs, because they're, they're um, the fastest, and the Witch Elves, but they're going to go down pretty quick.
Alright. One wins of magic every hundred seconds, essentially. Yeah, so the more units that we keep back here that aren't hidden, the more they'll send at us. And their army is getting smaller and smaller now. It's going to get easier and easier. We can justify being more and more reckless. Because there's, there's less and less they can do about it. Yeah, probably should have waited before shooting at that. Good, that was good timing because we hit the- Oh, there we go, there's the army losses. Cool. So, just that one shade. That's all it was. Alright, do we need to heal anymore? Alright, cool. But we're done there. It was just that one shade. Oh, yeah, there's, there was two shades in there. There were just two different types of shades. But yeah, fighting that battle, where you just like accept that all of them are just going to come at you. Oh, terrible idea. Terrible idea. Sometimes you can do it. Generally speaking, um, if it's just one army, it's fine. But if you're going up against two armies or more, holding a defensive position, like you need to have a very, very good army for that. And this is good, but it's not very, very good. It's just missing a few things. Low level heroes, that kind of stuff. Alright, so if we take the recovery, we'll fully replenish. I'll have no casualties. Or I can take ransom captives. And get money. Uh, ooh, your finances are... Yeah, no, it's fine. We'll take the, money. Uh, take the replenishment. Yeah, you weren't getting replenishment anyway, so... Full strength, no damage whatsoever. Completely undid what the... Um, what the Shades did. And now you can finish off those other two armies. Easily enough. So yeah, one of the reinforcements was definitely on Force March. I trust that you too are pledged to what else is going on? Fuck off. I think he's doing the economy cheese. If he's got 360,000, but a negative income, I think he's doing the economy, uh, the uh, indoctrinate cheese, which I approve. We'll see how much money he has at the beginning of the turn. If it's like 400,000, he's doing it. How dare you. Oh yeah, he's doing it. He's <laughs> he's doing it. He's doing the indoctrinate cheese. Minus 830. Suddenly get 120,000. Yeah, you're doing it. I approve. It's good. I approve. Yeah. I wonder who he's doing it to. Ah, uh, he's doing it to uh, here. Yeah, you can tell he's doing it. You know what I can Oh, do you know what would be a dick move? If I, if I, like, if I did this <laughs> and conquered them and, like, occupied it, it would end his, like, unlimited money. Um, and I'd be like, hey mate, I won the battle for you, and I, I thought I'd do you some extra, and I defeated Safri for you, and you're like, no, I would have preferred him to lose that battle, that was my money. So I'm not going to do that, I'm not that much of a dick. I might have, like a year ago I might have done that, and maybe I should do it, punish him for using exploits. Uh, but, you know, that's up to him. I don't mind. Anyway, that's the end of this one here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something about how to use Stalk a little bit. I know it's a little bit tedious and long-winded doing that battle, but the results speak for themselves. Amazing results. At the end of the day, if you don't want to do it, don't do it. If, you know, the main thing is to have fun. And if you'd rather lose, then lose. It's fine. Totally fine to lose a battle. No big deal. Um, but, you know, it is a fairly good army. I don't think... Uh, Cavill seems like he's immortal. This one's... Yeah, I guess you wouldn't have really cared too much to lose that. But yeah, uh, it's uh, it's going um, it's going fine now. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.